All right, everyone, let's go ahead and solve this problem. So I want to find the moment about the axis AB. So I've got a metal framework here, a rigid framework, and it's attached at A and B to some swivel, swiveling capability there. So some kind of a hinge system, um, a ball and socket, something like that. Um, and then attached to this is a cord at this corner. So you can see the position of A is 0, 0, 003 feet, so that's 3k feet, and the position of B is 5i feet, right? So this is just a different notation that you will see me use on occasion. And then one end of this cord is at C, which is at 0, 080 0 and the y-axis, and then this guy down here, the, the uh, corner of this frame structure, is at 4, negative 2, 5, so it's it's sloped down a little bit, and then I'm pulling up on that. All right, I'm gonna tell you that the tension in DC is 50 pounds, that's a given piece of information. And what I want then is the moment that this 50 pound force is exerting about AB to, to lift up or keep this thing from falling down. We're not gonna worry about the weight of the frame structure. Okay, so now to do this, I need a couple of things. First off, I want the vector tension. So remember, in order to find the vector tension, I have to find the unit vector from D to C, okay, from D to C. And so that means take the position of C minus the position of D, and then divide that by the uh, uh, magnitude of that vector length. All right, so zero minus four gives me negative four in the I. Eight minus a minus two gives me positive 10 in the J, right, so I'm going up 10. And then zero minus five gives me negative five in the K. All right, so I'm gonna get negative four I, 10 J minus five K feet. But then when I take the magnitude of this, that's negative four squared, which is 16, plus 100, which is 116, plus negative five squared, which is 25, positive 25. So it's 116 plus 25, I get 141, and that would be feet squared, but then I take the square root of that. So I'm gonna get feet down here, feet up here, the feet will cancel out. So this is dimensionless, right? There are no units there. And then I multiply that by 50 pounds. So this is my tension. So I'm just gonna leave it in this format. You can multiply it out, divide by the square root of 151, 141, excuse me, and you're gonna get this ugly decimal place. I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep life simple. So I'm gonna leave the 50 and the 141 just the way they are. The other thing I need for this problem is the position from A to D where the, where the force is applied. Again, I can do this from A to C or anywhere in between. Nothing's gonna change, because I need the moment. I need the moment about some point on the axis, and I'm choosing point A. I can choose point B, I can choose any point in between, probably on the outside, I've never done that, but I'm gonna assume I could, and I'll get the same answer. So any point along the axis. So I'm choosing A. So I want the moment about A. So it's gonna be the moment due to the force at D about A, right? So I need RAD, same thing. I take the position of D and I subtract the position of A. And if I do that, I get four minus zero, right? negative two minus zero and five minus three. So I get four, negative two, two feet. I don't want the unit vector, I want the actual vector. Okay, I want the actual vector and I'm gonna leave it in that form. And then the last thing I need is the unit vector from A to B. I need the unit vector from A to B. And so I'm going to choose RB minus RA. And so that's just gonna be five minus zero, zero minus zero, and zero minus three. So that's 5i, 0j, negative 3k, divide by the magnitude of that, 25 plus 9 is 34. Okay, I've got feet here and feet here, those are going to go away. So this is a unit vector, right? That's the unit vector right there. Okay, so let's figure out the moment for starters. So again, it's going to be the moment about a, the moment about a, is equal to R A D crossed with the tension. And I'll even call that T D C.
right? So that's what I need. I need to do that first thing. Okay, I'm going to find this moment. So let's do that. <coughs> so it's R A D cross with M, not M, cross with T D C. All right, and so to do that, again, I use a determinant I hat, J hat, K hat. Right, so I do that, and then what's R? Well, R was four, negative two, two, and that's feet, so I'm gonna put that outside of the determinant, right? And then um, when I look at this vector for the tension, I'm only gonna put negative four, 10, and negative five in the determinant. The 50 pounds is in every term. The radical 141 is in every term, All right? So I don't wanna put those in there. I want to keep my line simple as far as the arithmetic goes, right? So I'm going to put negative 4, 10, negative 5, and then this is 50 pounds over the square root of 141. Okay, so that, that's all going to kind of sit on its own. It's like evaluate the determinant first. Okay, so here's what I get. I get I hat. And then I'm going to take negative 2 times negative 5, that's 10, minus 10 times 2, which is 20. Right? And that's I hat. Right? So cross out the row and the column with the I, and I'm just left with this part right here. So negative 2 times negative 5, that's 10. 2 times 10 is 20. And then minus, because J hat is negative, negative or not negative positive 4 times negative 5 that's negative 20 minus 2 times negative 4 which is negative 8 and that's my j hat plus the k hat i'm going to get 4 times 10 which is 40 and then minus negative 4 times negative 2 which is 8 and that's positive 8 so that's my k hat all right and then all of this all of this is multiplied by 50 pounds times feet over radical 141. Okay? And so what do I get? I get negative 10 I minus, this becomes negative 20 plus 8, that's negative 12, but then minus a minus becomes plus 12. J. And then 40 minus 8 is 32. So 32k, and then 50 pounds, 50 pound feet over radical 141. Okay, and there's my moment, right? This is the moment about a, right? This is the moment about a, and then I'm going to dot this with the uh, unit vector from A to B. So I want M sub A dotted with RAB. Keep in mind, um, a lot, oftentimes I'll see RAB dotted with M sub A. The dot product is commutative, so it doesn't matter which of those comes first, right? So it can go either way. All right, so this is going to be, and again, I'm gonna leave it like this. This is gonna be negative 10I plus 12J plus 32k then there's 50 pound feet over radical 141 and then I have um, 5i plus 0j right? minus 3j right here's my unit vector okay so 5i plus 0j minus 3k over radical 34 no units Right, there's no units on that, okay? So 5i plus 0j, and then uh, minus 3k, all over radical 34. Okay, and so when I do that, take i times i, so that's negative 50, j times j, that's zero, and k times k, is negative 96. Those I, no I's, J's, and K's, right? There are no I's, J's, and K's. And then don't forget your 50 foot pounds. 
or pound feet, doesn't matter. And then radical 141 times radical 34. And so negative 50 and negative 96 is negative 146. So I get negative 146 times 50 foot pounds or pound feet, I'm gonna stick with pound feet. All over, I'm not gonna want to multiply that out, but it's the square root of 141 times 34. And then whatever that is numerically. And that's the moment of that force about axis AB. Okay, and that's how you find that. Again, just to reiterate, I could use B as my, as my target point, find the moment around B of the force. I could go from B to C, it doesn't matter. And then anywhere along here would be the moment. I can choose any point A to B or anything in between. And my fundamental, what do I find the moment about? And we'll get the same answer. All right, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.